Welcome back. So this is our new segment called Elena's Experiments. And we wanted to do a summer program that would help kind of bridge that gap and help the parents a little bit as well as you're stuck at home. You don't know what to do with those kiddos to keep them entertained and involve some learning. We're really focusing on STEM here at 17. And so we have Mary Lou, a math program specialist with the Kern County Superintendent of Schools to talk about some math activities that you can do and the kids won't really know they're doing math, yes, right? Because math is fun. It is fun. It truly is. Yeah. So what I brought today is this big wonderful object is yes. called a wreck and wreck okay and what a wreck and wreck is it's a smaller version of what an abacus and yes. I have an abacus kind of built here yes but what we really could do is you can make these at home okay um, and it's really to help our littles start counting yes with counting skills so what it is it's it's called subitizing okay. and subitizing is a form of memorization okay. because after all our numbers are just symbols mm -hmm. right Three is a symbol for the quantity of three. And what does that quantity represent? Yeah. Well, that's what a wreck and wreck kind of helps out with. Okay. It helps with that subitizing, that memorization. Because when we look at a dice, we know, hey, those are three dots. We know those five dots are going to be five. Yes. So what we can do is we can pull this over and then the students will say, oh, that's three. Okay, gives them the visualization. Yes, gives them the visualization. We pull over, we know we have five. One more, I have five plus one more, which is six. Okay. Again, that visualization, understanding that. And again, we know there's different patterns to learning, to getting to those numbers. Um, so what you can do at home is that you can actually make your own. Yes. Because this is awfully big. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a story? Yes. But at home for this summer, you can work with your students, okay. you know, your child, and have fun with this. And this is one that I made at home, okay. and it's simply cardstock. Yes. That's all it is. Cardstock and some holes punched, and I've used the pipe cleaners, and I've used pony beads. Okay. And you need to have two different colors of beads. That's the importance. Okay. Because again, we're giving those kids those supertizing skills to be able to recognize those numbers. So understanding that this represents 10. Okay. Another 10, double, we have 20. Okay. So again, just simply working with that, you can have one, they can have one, and you could say, hey, I'm thinking of a number. Yes. Seven. How could you make seven? Because we know there's a couple different ways to make seven. Yes. We could pull seven over. We could do three and four. We can do maybe six and one. Five and two. Exactly. Okay. So there's different ways, again, for those students to understand the different yeah. pathways. So again, this is really quite easy. Yeah. Just some pipe cleaner. If you don't have pipe cleaners, look around your house. Okay. Cardboard. This is off a pasta box. Perfect. Just grab that. Yes. If you have some yarn, use the yarn instead of pipe okay. cleaners. The beads, if you have any kind of beads that will fit on the cord, that's yes. the important part. That they can easily move them back, back and, and forth. forth. Yes. Um, and like I said, these are pony beads. And, and we have just about a minute left. Okay. I wanted to show this one with yes. these popsicle sticks yes. and the bigger one. This is an abacus. And okay. the, for the older kids, we can use this for multiplication because we can do skip count by twos. Yes. Okay, so if we have two um, times four or two groups of four, yes. what does that equal? Okay. And so the abacus is really helping with the multiplication skills. And yes, we can make one out of popsicle yes. sticks. It really is whatever you have at home okay. to help your students with really that flexibility in math skills. Yeah, and making it bigger and practicing multiplication yes. outside of just that grid that can get yes. so boring over a long summer. Absolutely. And we know that the visual models are really long lasting with yes. our students. Students. That's fantastic. Mary Lou, thank you so much. Thank and you. if she looks familiar, kids, she is from Do the Math. Yes. They are working hard over the summer to get new content for next year. And of course, your teachers are always there for you. Yes. And you can reach out to KCSOS on their Facebook and social media pages and share the math and fun that you're having over yes. the summer together. All right, we'll be right back.